All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Tate Five Podcast. Um, album of the week is Kicks. Blow my fuse. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I kind of went with this one because uh, they just this past weekend played their last show. Um, you and I saw them a couple years ago, and uh, I'm really glad I went. Man, that was one of the best live bands I've ever seen in my life. Out of seeing bands for thirty over thirty years, they were definitely one of the best live bands I saw. They sounded amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really, really glad we went. And like I said, it was literally just what two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and now, yeah, you know, played their last show. So uh, that was part of the reason, a huge reason why I went with this album. Um, or this band, but this album is clearly the biggest album of their career. Oh, yeah. Blow My Fuse, it was their, uh, came out September of 88. Um, you know, they were already four albums in. And this just blew them up, man. Blew them up. You know, Don't Close My Eyes, I Know You're a Ballad Guy. Yeah. Uh, huge song for them. Uh, you know, cold blood, cold huge blood, song. huge Fuck song yeah. for them. Great song. Um, you know, red light, green light, uh, get it while it's hot. You know, the song blow my fuse. Yeah. Uh, she dropped me the bomb. Piece Good of the pie. Yeah. Yep. 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 Solid album, man. Got some really good songs, you know, uh, cold blood is probably cold blood and, it's probably my favorite song off that. Yeah, me too. Uh, and I like, uh, and not just because it was one of the singles, videos, whatever, but um, I like Blow My Fuse also. I like Get It While It's Hot. Solid album, you know. So, some of those songs that I just mentioned, I think are a little stronger for what I like, but definitely, you know, took them, you know, fourth album, man. And it, they, they'll even tell you that. Even I just watched an interview with them from a few weeks ago and steve whiteman didn't even said he was like that was the biggest album of our career oh yeah because like yeah. i knew who they were before that but i never really listened to them it's one of those you right. know i'd see the name around but never really put much into it but then that was the first album i ever bought from them. why i had yeah. I said but yeah um me too and yeah but I, I think Blow My Fuse was the, or um, I think Cold Blood was the first single. Probably, yeah. And um, so, then like, I close remember, my eyes. Came yeah, out. yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's good song, good song to be your lead off single. So, yeah, it's, um, that was a great record. I mean, they were, you know, perfect timing for them, you know, all through the 80s, 88, you know, shit was real hot for that type of music then you know the hair band <laughs> shit era you know I, not shit era but hair band era um you know i just generalize it as that because yeah people seem to really identify with that but um yeah man that that and really if i'm being real honest i that's the album that i know most of their songs from mm -hmm. you know um, yeah well, yeah some me too. Of midnight dynamite and some of Midnight Dynamite only because when we saw them just a couple years ago, they had they were promoting like a uh, like a reissue of like the 30 year anniversary yeah. of, of it or whatever. Um, so great, like I said, man, I'm so glad we went and I had a good time too. You mm -hmm. know, it was outside. Um, you know, not a good crowd, but like not like in a. a you know, not an obnoxious amount of people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, it, it was really awesome that we got to see them before, you know, now they're uh, now they're done with it. I see. I seen them on that album. Hell yeah. Um, with um, Rat and Brittany Fox. OK. Man, that's a good. Yeah, that was that a good was, lineup. I and yeah. I think it was um Kicks's last night on the tour because I, I remember um like um 
then like throwing cake at it in their face and shit, okay. you know, celebrating like the last night of the tour or whatever. But I mean, but yeah, it was that was a good show. Um, their yeah. earlier stuff is kind of different though. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's like it's not bad disco ish almost. Some of it, yeah, I see why you say that. Yeah, and it's like, um, yeah, they they still they became kicks. They were a band called the Shoes, and I think that Shoes band did like some disco, like top forty stuff, and that was in like. 80 1980 you know but they but even early kick stuff like um was a song body talk or something like that like it's some there's it's kind of disco-ish but it's still you know it was different mm -hmm. it, it's, it's still rocked but in but, but it kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah. i said a bit it was like it's just different for what because they were kind of combining the two you know and like it was mm -hmm. but it, it was it was good yeah, I remember um, there was a radio station here in Columbus probably about 15 years ago. And they were playing, they would play a lot of the 80s stuff. And I remember they had a um, a trivia question. It's like, this was the last band of the hair band era. And they played kicks. I'm like, somebody no. fucked up. Like yeah. they were like they were like one of the earliest ones. Yeah, absolutely, they were. And I remember from, like um, I was yeah, trying to figure it out. You know, I was thinking like you know Jackal or Firehouse. You know, I was trying to think something yeah. like that. And then they played "Don't Close Your Eyes," and I was like, somebody fucked up. Somebody dropped yeah. the ball now, and because that's that's not a. I said like they were before all those bands. Matter yes. of fact, they try to say that like um, Poison. Like took their their image and their um and like I think they even have a song called Poison or something. I remember they okay. they were using Poison of something. Wild, I didn't know that. But yeah, I was, that shit was crazy, man. I was like, "What the yeah. fuck?" Yeah, I said I always remember them too, but that blow my fuse record, man, really put them. I mean, like, like you and I are both saying, we knew about him, but that blew my fuse record. Is I think what yeah. really got everyone's attention about him. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. So good on them, man. They you know had a, I mean, yeah, good career. Glad to see that. Uh, you know they 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 bow. You know they went out good. You know. Yeah, and like they're um. They were to have a cult following too, because it's like I remember, because they broke up for like years. I think they got like real jobs and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, only time they would play would be like M three or something. Mm -hmm. And um, and I remember like a buddy of mine trying to get them at the Alrosa, and I guess they wanted too much for them or something. And uh, you know and. So they never did get them, but like it is, but it was like one of those bands. I remember there was like a petition to get them to tour again or something. Was like, I, that, uh, yeah, I remember that also. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, so they I mean they had a, and it was cool that when they came, you know, like I was surprised that like said that it wasn't like overly packed at that show, but there was a lot of people. Yeah. Yes, you know, yeah. and I didn't realize that they it, were it was that more big. than what I thought. Also, yeah. Because, like, yeah. you know, cause they only had the one big album and, and they were considered like a one hit wonder, you know. But, um, yeah, I see why you say that. I mean, it was cool that, that that many people showed up and it shows that they do have like a pretty big following. Yeah. And you know, if a lot of those people at that show knew more songs than just yeah. the Blow My View shit. Yeah. I mean, when they were playing yeah. stuff on Midnight Dynamite, people was getting into it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Was like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. I saw, too, an interview. Uh, I watched a few things with some of the dudes in that band, you know, leading up to their last show. And uh, one of the things the two guitar players had talked about was uh, the first tour they ever did. Once they when they were signed, put a record out of that was with Triumph. Oh, and just man. how like these Triumph did not 
take well to them at all. And I think uh, really, I think Triumph end up kicking them off the tour, or they end up leaving the tour after like just a few shows. You know, um, yeah, said that the Triumph dudes just were not like begging them at all. Damn, and this is back like maybe eighty three. Yeah, I could say it had yeah. it better in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah, that's when Triumph was really big too. So, yeah. So yeah, man, thought we had to give you know uh, kicks some uh, proper respect, you know, in their in their farewell, their biggest yeah. album. Yeah, deserves to be an album of the week choice. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, great pick. And I said, yeah. and it's cool they they went out like, dude. Didn't when we seen them, wasn't it like um, I think. Three out of five original members. Yes, it was close. Um, yes. I know the one. I um, think one guitar player was sick or something. He's been back and forth uh, handling, you know, getting clean. Yeah, but uh, he was on this uh, this final show. That's cool. He was on most of that. Then the dude that was filling in for him that we saw that night played some of it. Also, um, Brad Debar. They brought Brad Divens back for some songs. Brad Divens, who was in Wrathshout America, um, was in had, Kicks for an album. Yeah, yeah we had that discussion. To, yep. Yeah, prior to him being in Wrathshout, and uh, actually brought him out for some songs. You know, I would assume the ones that for that album that he played on. So yeah. I thought that was cool. You know. Yeah. Um, I will say this. I know they. Uh, there's some real bad blood with uh, Donnie Purnell, who was the bass player and mm -hmm. one of the bigger songwriters for that band. You know, the first, the 80s stuff. Yeah. Before they got back together. And uh, I don't know if it's if they attempted to reach out to have him come or if they were just done with it. I don't know. But, um, I mean, that could have totally been one. They may have reached out, and there may have been no communication. But um, still, though, yeah, good way to go out, man. Yeah, the drummer I know I held just this year alone. I saw there was a show earlier this year that like he was having a heart attack while they were playing. Oh shit! And like collapsed, and like they stopped the show, and an ambulance had to come get him. So that was, I guess, that was one of the factors in. They were already kind of on the fence anyway of like, you know. Um, but, you know, that dude, you know, made a recovery and he played the whole show too, the drummer. Awesome. But man, like, Steve, man, he's he's kind of like a Mick Jagger or Steven Tyler, man. You know, like he's yeah. on stage, like, you know, he's still in shape. He can still yeah. dump those songs and, you know, he's good front man it's like and this might sound silly a lot of what i was impressed with with them the night we saw them was these dudes are in their 60s and we're doing the splits and still <laughs> playing hitting the chords perfectly i mean because they've been that was part of their thing you know their yeah. state act yeah for the past 30 plus years but to be i mean that just says something, man. You know, I mean, to be. So, yeah, that's why I say, man, I really if I had to do a top five best live bands I ever saw. And I really have to think about it, but I don't have to think about it. The kicks would be in that definitely top ten. I mean, no doubt about it. That sh that night we saw them. Um because that was this, they gave the same performance that night as they did 35 years ago when they were playing in an arena. Yeah. You know, and like I was saying, like they, they broke up and didn't tour for years. And for them yeah. to come back and, you know, be that good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you know, why, why they was off, they weren't like, I mean, they were doing what they're doing, but they weren't like, um, you know, they stayed in shape and, you know, kept practicing and, you know, it is well, when they broke impressive. up, cause the, the singer talked about this in an interview that I recently watched. Um, they broke up, they said, because like so many of those other bands of that time, 
they grunge took over, you know, mm-hmm. and they were a part of that. Um, that happened that they lost their record contract, the same as all the other hair bands of the time did. So mm-hmm. they broke up. And then it was, you know, 12, 15 years ago, whatever, when uh, he said that the promoter, I'm pretty sure he said from Rockahoma, approached him about doing a reunion thing. And he was like, nobody cares. He's like, nobody. And so they, you know, told him their price. They agreed to do it and sold out show. And he even said he was like it. I couldn't believe it that people still cared. Yeah. Um, well, he had been doing a band called Funny Money mm-hmm. um, that whole time, also, which had the drummer from Kicks, the guy that uh, ended up being the bass player in Kicks when they got back together, because that Donnie dude, they didn't have him back in the band because they had a, a major falling out with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, the one of the two guitar players would sometimes even play in that funny money band. So they were still playing, you know, more yeah. of like a cash casual type thing. Mm-hmm. But when it came back full times as kicks, there he had that bass player built in and you know brought the two guitar the original guitar. Everybody original but the bass player. And kept it with the guy that had been doing the funny money band. Yeah. And um yeah and he said that he didn't think he was like, it was over. It was over. Nobody cares about, and he, he didn't even really know about like Rockahoma and these other fests that were keeping a lot of those bands alive. You know, people still did have the interest in it. And uh, it, it made him a believer, and it brought that band back to life, man. Fuck yeah. All right, anything else? No, man. Good on kicks. All right. Thanks for watching. Five and out. Five and out.